One, two, three, halt! 22, the number may not seem high to you. They do put a lot on the line. But here it is. More veterans have killed themselves than lost than they've died in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today, families and veterans walk seven and a half miles at the Chris Kyle Memorial in Odessa, doing it all for the fallen veterans. Can you imagine a soldier, he's been to combat, served his country, and come home and take his own life? 22 is the number of veterans who take their lives every day. And although Texas has the highest suicide rate, roughly 26% are veterans. And although they've seen war, you have to be hyper vigilant to come back fighting depression or PTSD. You have to stay focused. It's a battle they lost. Those veterans bring that same frame of mind back to the civilian world. Yeah, PTSD. We never knew. Jaime Sanchez, the stepfather of Army veteran Alan Cedillo, who took his own life in 2012, says the family is still trying to hold together after his death. And they tore the family apart. He was going to go back to training, and that's the last time we saw him. I mean, we're barely men in together now. And although the changeover from military to civilian life is not that easy. Going off and coming back. Some can still fight through. For me, myself, it was a hard transition, you know, getting out of the Marine Corps and coming back home. And I can only imagine what guys who didn't have the support system that I had. George Robertson with the Veterans Affairs Suicide Prevention says veterans who face a crisis will receive assistance, whether it be medical, mental, or homeless. We're here to help. All it takes is one phone call away. The VA hear you. We're trying to do everything to let you know that we're available for you. There's somebody that cares. We do care. Your life is worth so much more than to end it for nothing. Reporting in Odessa, Jolina Okazaki, News West 9. Thank <laughs> you.